you dgens i watched gushing over magical girls and holy i do not know if i would call this a hentai or an anime <laughs> i mean like there's no but i don't mind as much but there's also no but there is a lot of sexual themes and bdsm so i don't know what to call this so the premise of the story is there's a high school girl named udana inagi who gushes over the magical girls who are in her city saving the people from an evil company called Enormita. Enormita, yeah, there you go. One day, when Utana was walking home from school, she meets a mascot-looking thing called Venelita. She thought she would become one of the magical girls, but after seeing the outfit and questioning Venelita, Venelita says, oh yeah, I'm part of Enormita, the evil company. So she denies her, his request of her joining the company and leaves. But later she is forced to join the company by Venelita because Venelita had blackmail. He took a picture of her inside this loot outfit and threatened to post it on, I think, this world's version of Instagram or Twitter. I don't know. But then we later find out inside our first fight of the Magical Girls in that exact same episode that she's a sick. Which she actively denies that she's a sad throughout the entire show, but showing that she's a sad in nearly every single fight that she's in, and shows it once when she's at a shrine and found BDSM porn mag. <laughs> And then got addicted to that said mag. Out of all the outfits inside the show, I say my favorite is Kiwi Aragaz outfit or the Leopold outfit. Kiwi is also part of the company, the evil company. And I think Kiwi, I think has a crush on Utana. I can't really tell because my eyes are, or my mentality on romance is crazy, and it, dude, I cannot see a single thing. But I think. Kiwi got a crush on Utana from Utana calling her cute after Utana violated her with a light bulb showed in this scene. <laughs> yeah, I don't I I still I still think this is like right on the edge of anime and hentai. Anyway, I love the military outfit with the long sleeves covering her hands, but the bottom is a bit much for me, and her personality is not to my liking, personally. She is an attention seeker and maybe a little bit of a narcissist. Also, another thing, when I was watching this show, and I think it was like the last episode, I s they introduced a child <laughs> into the evil company. Reminding you, these are the outfits for the evil company. What do you think they're giving the child? <laughs> I got so scared when I saw the child come in, but thank God her outfit is this, which is like normal-ish. It just, it just looks like a doll, right? Yeah, I'm so glad that the illustrator was sane. W what do you mean? W what do you mean I'm not sane? So when I was going to watch this anime slash anime, I still don't know, I chose the censored version that was in my option, thinking that it censored means censoring the nudity. I was surprised that it still showed the nudity inside the first episode. And after thinking about it, it probably meant censoring words like f and sh. Anyway, if you're gonna watch this anime slash hentai, be ready to see all the sexual themes and nudity that I mentioned in this video. And please do not watch it if your little brother or anyone else has under the age of. 
I say I say sixteen, maybe four. Does fourteen learn? Does does fourteen learn sexual health yet? I, I don't know. By the way, if you would, if you like this short ish video, drop this, drop a sub, and join my Discord. We are a very normal community. F I'm scared. Also, I have a Q&A at 500 subs, so you can drop your questions inside this forum. So, goodbye everyone, and have a good night, you DGens.